The titans of social media didn't want to come to Capitol Hill. In fact, CEOs of Snapchat, X and Discord had to be subpoenaed to force them to face Congress. But as the hearing opened first, they had to face the stories of those who say their lives were destroyed using their apps. I was sexually exploited on X. This is my daughter, Olivia. This is our son, Matthew. My son, Riley, died from suicide after being sexually exploited on Facebook. After the video, the grilling began. Mr. Zuckerberg, you and the companies before us, I know you don't mean it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. Senator Ted Cruz challenged Meta's Mark Zuckerberg why, until it was exposed by the media searching for child pornography on Instagram, was met with a message warning users, but allowing them to see results anyway. In what sane universe is there a link for see results anyway? Well, because we might be wrong. We, we try to trigger this, this uh, warning, or we tried to, um, when we think that there's any chance that the results might be Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you don't know. Why don't you know? Well, this hearing is in the home of big tech. Their products are global. Aged 14, Megan Hinton was tricked into sharing explicit images of herself over Snapchat by someone impersonating another user. I think the only way I can describe finding it out was complete and utter betrayal. Like my stomach had just dropped to the floor, felt completely sick. I felt utterly ashamed, embarrassed, guilty for sending it. Um, and that impact has definitely stayed with me. Despite efforts to have the images removed from various platforms five years after she went public with her story, they were still online. That and much else besides, she says, is for big tech to fix. I would like to see them actively engage and participate in online safety instead of just being tokenistic. They have the money to make online environments safe. Please spend it. Snapchat's CEO was the only one to tell Congress he supported a draft US law similar to the Online Safety Act passed here in the UK last year. Senator, we strongly support the Kids Online Safety Act and we've already implemented many of its core provisions. Then, unexpectedly, Mr Zuckerberg was invited to stand and apologise to families who'd lost loved ones. I'm sorry for everything that you've all gone through. It's terrible. No one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. A key moment, perhaps, in the dismal history of child safety on social media, but unlikely to mean much unless new laws allow the most vulnerable to hold the most powerful in tech to account. Tom Clark, Sky News.